One of the big enhancements of the OPCD tools was the advancement of the set mesh materials scripting inside of Unity. And uh, this video is just going to be a quick intro into that, what it does. So the set mesh materials V4 tool, um, it is a OPCD specific tool. So it was developed specifically by John Meyer for course development inside of Unity and GS Pro. Um, so it is not specifically something that is included with Unity. It was something that was written by John Meyer. And he, frankly, he did a great job at it. Uh, ultimately, what this tool is intended to do is allow for bulk assignment of materials and physics to your meshes and your blends that you're pulling in from Blender. So, you know, you did all your shapes inside of Inkscape, you pulled them into Blender, and then in Blender, they got assigned very general materials, like a certain color green, color of fairway, a certain color of green was your rough. And it was really in, in Blender, it was just so you could differentiate between those shapes, just good enough. Well, in Unity, we want to give it a realistic look and feel. Um, realistic look being material and a feel being the physics or how the ball is going to behave when it hits those things. And this is what the set mesh materials does. It assigns those materials and physics to your meshes and blends, the realistic materials and the realistic physics that will ultimately be used inside of the game. So it signs those based on what you assigned in Inkscape. So when you said Inkscape, this color is rough or this color is a T, it's gonna use that information it's in, in order to assign those materials as part of the script. Now, just because you assign something in Inkscape doesn't mean you're stuck with that. So ultimately this is a bulk assignment. So this is gonna do 95% of the work for you, but you might need to go in and change a specific mesh or a specific shape and you can do that, okay? But this is bulk assignments. So you're doing hundreds of these um, in, your, in your course when it's all done, you don't wanna do them all by one by one. So set mesh materials tool is designed to do them all for you and get you close to the finish line and then you can tweak all you want. Um, one thing of note, with the set mesh materials tool, area is not splined in Inkscape, okay? So your outer terrain, you didn't spline that, it's just an outer terrain. And then remember, you created a mesh for your outer terrain inside of Blender, but you didn't spline it in Inkscape, okay? Also, there was a concept of that auto outer. So if you did a whole 99 in, in Inkscape, um, anything outside of your whole 99 out to the edge of your inner terrain, remember that got filled in by the, the cloud blender, the clender. Um, or if you didn't do a whole 99, things get filled in automatically out to, you, to, to the edges of your inner terrain. Those are areas that you did not spline in Inkscape. Using the set mesh tool, they will be assigned your satellite imagery. So your overhead image that you either created or someone did for you, that's gonna get assigned to those areas. And we'll see that as we go through this. I um, already mentioned that if you have an individual mesh or blend that you do not, uh, that you want to change individually, you can do that, no problem. However, there's something you need to be aware of. Any of those individual changes that you did, so if you change the physics of a particular mesh, let's say you take a, a, a rough area and you change it to deep rough for some reason, because that's how you want it to behave, or you change the look of a particular mesh from you know a grassy look to a to you, you change it to a different material. If you run set mesh again, it's gonna go back through all of your meshes and assign them, okay, based on what you select in the tool and it'll overwrite that you, anything you did individually. So just make sure you're aware of that. Use set mesh materials um, very carefully because you back and hit, hit it again, it's just gonna overwrite all those individual changes you did, okay? Now, it does come with six defaults and I'll show you those. Um, I would recommend don't overwrite those defaults, save your own. And those are called themes. So a theme is just a way of saving any of the changes that you make to the set materials tool, set mesh materials, so that later on, if you want to make those same changes again, and um, you have them, okay? So uh, on to the next session where we're gonna talk to you about the themes function in the set mesh materials tool.